Ladies and gentlemen, today I'm going to show you how to get round 100 on Mob of the Dead. Just like my last video on Die Rise, this round 100 is actually very easy. So to many people's surprise, you might notice that BO2 is actually not as hard as people might think. You just do the right strategies and you watch my tutorials, you'll be able to get round 100 on every single Black Ops 2 Zombies map. But today guys, we're going to get straight into it. This is how you get round 100 on Mob of the Dead. To start off your game, you can just stay in the first room for like 5 rounds. It doesn't matter how long you stay in there, just make sure you get enough points to be comfortable best thing to do as well is make sure you have the warden's key on the m14 side and leave through that door this will make your life so much easier something everybody literally does in a casual game of mob of the dead is open up the laundry door but in this high round strategy you do not open up the laundry door you see i'm gonna have to left right now i shocked the double points i shocked the warden's key do not open the laundry door that is going to screw up the high round strategy it's not that it's gonna make it impossible to do it's gonna just make it much much slower so what you want to do just don't open that and of course hit the box for the mark two you don't really need the mark two it's just gonna help you be a little bit faster in the early rounds as you see i'm kind of running a box patch here so i ended up getting the mark two and blunder gap first two box hits once you start off the game doing that you honestly can do whatever the hell you want there's a bunch of different things you are going to need to do one of the things you're going to need to do is obviously build the shield make sure you build the shield and build it in the cafeteria do not build it down by docks make sure you build it in the cafeteria as you see i'm doing right now i'm, I'm failing the dogs so make sure you do obviously get the hell's retriever make sure you get the hell's retriever before you fly to pack a punch because obviously we're going to want the Hell's Redeemer. And to get the Hell's Redeemer, we're going to need to kill zombies with the Hell's Retriever in Pack-A-Punch. So the nice thing about Mob of the Dead is that obviously you do not have Quick Revive on this map. You have Afterlife, which means you get to use another perk instead of Quick Revive. So the perks that I run and the perks that you should run are Electric Cherry, Juggernaut, Speed Cola, and Double Tap. These are going to probably be the four best perks. I don't even know what other perks you would buy on this map, to be honest. And of course, make sure you guys build the Acid Gap. So the Blunder Gap upgrade, this is going to be very necessary for the high round strategy. So once you guys get the health retriever, you have enough points to pack a bunch of both your weapons. You obviously get the acid gat upgrade. Go ahead and fly to pack a punch. Once you land on pack a punch, only kill with the hell's retriever. Do not kill with your blunder gat. Don't even pack a punch any weapons. All you can do right now is just kill with the hell's retriever. This usually just takes around two rounds to finish. This is also why you're going to want to go as early as possible. Don't go on like round 20 when the hell's retriever isn't going to do as much damage. You're going to want to go on round 15, 16, 14 whatever early as possible okay so you, you heard that sound you heard that sound that sound means the hell's retriever is done upgrading now you can go ahead teleport back pack a bunch of weapons whatever now once you grab the hell's redeemer you're now ready to go to the low round strategy to be fast now you do not need to do this strategy if you want to go straight to the cafeteria and have high round do the trap strat there that is totally up to you but this strategy is going to speed your game up a lot and get you that higher round faster and it is very simple all you do is just camp in this little area you see I am, and you're going to use a mix of Hell's Redeemer, Mark II, and Vitralic Withering. You see there's a, I shoot a regular Mark II shot, I start around here, and then the zombies are going to be spawning over here, and just make sure you do not pass that caged little gate right there into that area. You pass that, you will start breaching, you do not want to breach. So just make sure you're staying in this little area. And then also the nice thing about Mob of the Dead is, is you're going to have four drops. You're not going to have more than four drops because there's only two barriers of zombies are spawning out of. Especially if you did not move the box. If you move the box, you're going to get five drops, but if you don't move the box, you're going to get four drops, which means you have a possibility of getting a max ammo every single round now as you get later into the rounds it's going to get a little harder so if you're in the late 30s or early 40s and you don't want to just leave you keep dying or something then it is totally fine to just leave at around this time i don't want to start trapping at round like 25 that's just kind of unnecessary now this is the strategy i do as you see the trap literally just turned off i have the shield right there and you're going to always keep the trial withering it out just in case you get in a corner or something and what you're going to want to do is is always throw the hell's redeemer as soon as you see it charge up one ring you can go ahead and throw it so not the second charge like the first time you see a ring you see so as i see it i throw it boom that's the fastest way you're gonna do it you're gonna want to throw your redeemer as much as you possibly can especially when you're in this area because in this area the zombie is gonna spawn non-stop and also i was gonna say this is my strategy this is what i found to be the easiest strat to do you do not have to do this if you want to go ahead and do the high round strat which is the fastest strategy go ahead and the nice thing about the hell's redeemer is that you actually do get drops from it as well so as you see here i get an insta kill so if you didn't already make sure you trade out your mark two for the mp5 a lot of people don't know this but the mp5 is actually a very mobile weapon it's one of the most mobile weapons actually in 
all of zombies history i don't know why but you move super fast with the mp5 in your hand so using the mp5 you'll be able to run really fast and obviously on insta kills it's gonna be the best weapon to use as the wall by four is literally right there when you're in these later rounds and you down the only perks you need when you down are electric cherry juggernaut and speed cola you don't need to get anything else double tap is literally going to do nothing for you on these high rounds because what are you going to be killing with you're not you can't kill with the shock withering can't kill with the mp5 the only benefit double tap has is that you can shoot faster with the mp5 which i guess is kind of cool but i mean that's not worth the hassle of going all the way out of the way but there you guys go there's how you get round 100 on mob of the dead if you guys want to check out any of my other tutorials i would make sure to leave the link down in my description i have zombie tutorials across every single call of duty zombies game especially in the last bo2 bo1 and world at war i make tutorials for every single round 100 after i get round 100 on that map i have tutorials on shangri-la moon nocturne totem kino de totem and i have tutorials on every single map you can possibly think of so if you guys do want to check that out make sure you guys look through my youtube channel or just look in the description down below of course check me out on twitch i stream there six times a week today guys we're going for round 100 on every single cold war map after this video goes live so make sure you guys do check that out we're going to be up all night playing some cold war feel free to check me out on twitter instagram zombie dog underscore and everything i'll make sure to link that shit down in the description join my discord for free zombie tutorials mod packs camos anything you can think of for black ops 3 zombies are in my discord we have a lot of wonderful mods for you to help you guys make sure you guys join my discord and check those mods out i appreciate you guys and i will see you later